So wind instruments work by the player inputting a whole range of frequencies into the mouth of the instrument. So this can be through vibrating your lips or often reeds are used to vibrate. And this generates a whole range of frequencies. Some of these frequencies produce standing waves and that gives us a resonant effect. So we actually hear these resonant frequencies a lot more loudly than the other frequencies which the player puts into the instrument. So by adjusting the length of the pipe by pushing the knobs in various configurations, the player can get us to hear the different notes and the desired notes. So let's have a look at a slightly different type of instrument now. Now this instrument will actually work off convection. Convection will cover when we learn about thermal physics later in the program. But what happens is when we have hot air, if, if we heat up air, it becomes less dense than the surrounding air and so it rises. And so we get what's known as convection currents, which are just caused by hot air rising. So in this demonstration, we'll be setting up the convection currents in our musical instrument to generate the notes. So what I've got here is a really nice demonstration of resonance. I've got two different sized tubes and these tubes actually have a little gauze mesh down the bottom which I can heat up with a Bunsen flame. When it's heated, hot air rises due to convection currents. And so this will generate an air current through these two tubes which will actually generate a sound. So what I want you to do before I heat these up is predict How's the sound from the two tubes going to be different? 